just realized some of you might actually be wondering why my left eye kind of uncontrollably um, squints when it's not even bright half the time. Dress. We'll go bye bye. video about my new wheelchair is up so if you haven't you can go watch that now here's a little bit of um behind the scenes about that video well good morning guys we're gonna see how this goes i'm going to try to go grab my big camera and potentially film the video about my new chair. So for whatever reason, my big camera isn't focusing, so I'm gonna have to do this as best as I can with either my phone or iPad. So here we go. You ready to go for a walk, Kiana? Get your leash off you. Ready to go for a walk? Might have to take the bus some. So, total wheelchair fail. I forgot to charge my chair last night. I still got a pretty full battery, so we're gonna do some walking, but we might have to take the bus some. And mom's picking us up, so. But we'll see what we do, because it is absolutely gorgeous. Thought about wearing my new sundress that I made. If I get too hot, I might actually change. Um, because I brought it with me. I hadn't decided. And it's not blazingly hot, and it's super lightweight, so. I just realized, some of you might actually be wondering why my left eye kind of uncontrollably, um, squints when it's not even bright half the time. Or if it is bright, why it does it a lot. And that is because I have what's called a coloboma retina. It is a congenital birth defect that affects the, um, in some cases, it just is cosmetic. But in my case, it actually goes back and affects the uh, optic nerve. And, hey, whoa. Bee just landed on my camera. Um it goes back and affects the optic nerve and so my left eye does not contract with light changes um it also is what causes the kind of oblong pupil um so and i'm i'm also uh complete almost completely blind in that eye. i'm legally blind in that eye um for those of you who have seen the very old movie ice castles um, that, uh, the vision after the main character's head injury is pretty much what I see out of that eye. Um, essentially, uh, if something were to happen to my right eye, I would be completely reliant on a guide dog. Um, so. Which would be really problematic in a wheelchair. I do know, whoa. I do know people who have used uh both but i think it would be a bit problematic in a power chair so yeah it's also why my left eye pulls to the far outside and why you see me during a lot of walks with sunglasses on to protect me from wind and vehicle driven debris anyway we are headed out. Um, lately, I've been liking McDonald's a lot, so we're headed to McDonald's and going to hang out in that area for a while, and then I've got my appointment with the sleep doctor. Okay, new plan. Instead of walking, since my battery is not critically low, but anyway, too low to walk, 
Uh, we are going to hop the bus to the mall and power to McDonald's. Takes a couple miles and considerable battery drain out of the equation. And now to the vet to figure out what is wrong with Kiana's paw. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so, kind of funny. Um, I put on my new purple handbands today and realized they match my wheelchair. I'll show you. See what I mean? And that was like complete freak accident. I remembered that my wheelchair was purple because that's my current favorite color because of it being my Chiari awareness color. But I didn't know exactly what shade and I did not have my wheelchair when I ordered these. So, kind of cool. I might wind up getting another pair because of it, but not sure. Anyway, night guys. Hey guys, so I had just gone to do um, the treatment on Kiana's paws that the vet gave us. Uh, she had told us that uh, she was on call tonight, so if anything changed, to give her a call. And it looks like um, she actually has a blister on her paw that's popped. that just showed up since 4.30 tonight, and it is now 9.30, so in the last five hours it has shown up and popped. Um, so I'm waiting for a call back to find out whether to change her treatment. So I'll let you guys know what I hear, but I think we're both hoping that she's okay and that she doesn't have to go out of service for a while. Talk okay, later. so I spoke to the vet and she said to do the same uh, treatment she had given us. Um, and if it was super painful, uh, which it is not, to uh, put some clean gauze on it. Um, however, I also spoke with my assistant trainer, and she suggested to, uh, tomorrow to go get a new pair of booties, and, um, basically not give Kiana the option any time that the pavement is really warm. Um, we've tried in the past, but she is just thrown a fit, and... Yeah, so, um, so yeah, tomorrow, well, when you watch this, it will be today, uh, we will be going to get her booties, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, we do have, uh, medicine for her paw, and the good news is, ever since we started that, it has been fine, she hasn't been limping, she hasn't been favoring it, uh, anything, I will be keeping an eye on it, and if she shows any signs of pain or anything, I will be calling, uh, my mom to give us a ride home, or taking a taxi, or whatever, so, yeah, so, good night, guys.